This is the Crane 2S, stronger and better than the original Crane 2, but we need to find a place to test it. Hey Skydio, find me a good place to test this new gimbal. Hey, if you don't know me, my name is Jake and I create content for solo creators on the go. So I test and review equipment here in Alaska and I do tips and tutorials on how to use that equipment so that you can tell better stories. Zhiyun so sent this to me, but they're not paying for this review and they're not paying me for this video. They just sent it to me and asked me to give my honest opinion about it. So that's what I'm doing. To start off with, this is not a travel gimbal. This gimbal is meant to be used in productions where you're gonna be working 10 hour days with heavier equipment and really need the absolute best performance that you can get out of a gimbal while you're running around with lots of different types of equipment. Juin says that the batteries will last about 12 hours and I gotta say, um, I think they're pretty, pretty accurate on that. I've been running around out here for five and a half hours now and I've lost just about, or I just lost two bars and the gimbal has been on constantly since I left my car a little while ago. Going back to the, this is not a travel gimbal, it is not, it's heavy. And even though it's lighter than like the DJI Ronin S was, because that was a very heavy gimbal, it's still quite a heavy gimbal. And after, you know, three, four, five, six hours of me running through the hills around here, it gets quite a bit heavier and it, uh, it starts to wear your arms out. Even me with my big muscle arms. Um, it is nice that there's a second grip here so you can get the kind of the two handle setup. But this is gonna be a really good gimbal if you do larger events or larger productions where you need a gimbal that's gonna carry your heavier setups and last you throughout the entire day, whether you leave it on all day or not. And one thing about the Crane 2S is that it is designed to handle a lot of weight, much larger cameras, much heavier bodies than anything I have. So when they sent it to me, they said I should have no problem with any lenses I can throw on my mirrorless camera and pretty much any settings I have. I packed a lot of stuff out to this to try this. See you, challenge accepted. If this works, it'll be amazing. So the real question is, why would you want to do something like this? There's really literally no reason why you would do something like this. Much easier ways to get atmospheric audio. There's much easier ways to get stereo sound. There's much lighter ways to do it. But you could if you wanted to. They say this will handle a lot of weight and then it stabilizes better than ever before. Let's put that to the test, shall we? We're gonna put a 70 to 180 by Tamron on here. We're gonna extend it out to 180 and see how well it can stabilize when I'm running around on this very uneven terrain. This is the walking test of the 180 millimeters. 
This is a parallax. Whoa, 180 millimeters. 70 millimeter parallax. And much like many other gimbals, this comes with pan follow mode, which is the mode that I use probably 90% of the time. It also has lock mode, which is where if you put it in lock mode and you turn the gimbal, spin it around, it stays locked in that direction and that attitude. And now I'm really dizzy. It also has things like vortex mode, which you can use in music videos, skateboarding videos, and other things like science fiction films. And then it also has the POV mode, which is where you can get those really odd angles make people feel like the world is tipping one way or the other and just just throw things around there's also go mode whereas if you want it to move really fast you're doing high action stuff skateboarding sports type things you want to use go mode because it responds really really fast it's also compatible with the Jun image transmission system which is fantastic if you want to be able to transmit wirelessly to your phone and see what you're filming or if you want to track objects now, object tracking works pretty well for me overall, but I've had kind of hit or miss experiences with it. But it seems to be mostly related with how close or how big the subject you're tracking is in the viewfinder and, uh, and how brightly or how much contrast there is between the subject and whatever's around it. So the, the more contrast, the, the easier the algorithm has a time of finding what it's tracking and staying locked on it. But tracking is really useful if you want to be able to put it on a tripod or set it down somewhere and have it track you as you walk through a scene when you're filming yourself. They also have the trigger in front, like the Weeble S. If you push it and hold it down, it enters follow mode, which means you can pan, tilt, basically the gimbal will follow any movement you make, which I find really handy for when I'm doing tilt and pan motions. And anytime you need to recenter it, you tap the trigger twice, it will recenter the gimbal. And of course, we couldn't live without selfie mode which is if you tap the, the trigger three times but this is not a selfie mode gimbal because unless you're somebody like Peter Lindgren with arms that are the size of my legs this is going to get heavy really quick oh gosh that's it over the last month or month and a half or so that I've had the crane 2s I have really put it through its paces I've climbed up a mountain filming a group of people who are raising awareness for suicide prevention and uh, used it to film that. I've used it on a bunch of other shoots around my house. I've just, I've put it through its paces. I've taken it up into glaciers, ice caves, the whole thing to really test it and see how durable, how well it handles everything and, and just how, how good of a gimbal it is. The answer is pretty straightforward. June has made a great gimbal if you have a heavier weight setup and you don't mind carrying around a little extra weight this is a fantastic choice because it will handle a lot of weight this thing is really rugged it's really durable i am not careful with my stuff i'm not easy on my stuff especially when i'm out doing stuff like this and it has withstood everything that i and everything alaska has thrown at it including rain and snow I was gonna film the whole thing up here, but it's windy and the rain is coming and it started snowing. And yes, DJI is gonna release a new gimbal maybe in October sometime. We thought they were gonna do it in September and then they apparently decided not to. So they moved it to October. When that comes out, I will get it. And I will do a direct comparison with this gimbal here. Oh, geez, that means I'm gonna have to hike out here with two of them. Oh, crap. That's gonna be a hard, heavy day. I need a friend. I need a friend who's willing to carry stuff with me. Now I put together a playlist right here of other tech that is great for solo creators, including a lot of other gimbals that I've reviewed. <coughs> Click or tap there, I'll see you in one of those videos. As always, ask me questions in the comments below, or join my live stream Wednesday nights, 4 p.m. Alaska, 8 p.m. Eastern. I gotta find a friend that can help me do this. This stuff's getting too heavy to carry by myself.